Why do we cry? Have you ever wondered why the eyes are involved when we're feeling sad? It's a little bizarre, especially considering that scientists generally agree that humans are the only species who actually shed what we call emotional tears. It's thought that there are both social and biological reasons that we cry. It's this social reason that sets us apart from other species and supports an evolutionary role in the way we communicate. It's thought that tears signal distress to others, promoting bonding and support. Biologically, emotional crying releases stress hormones in the tears, like cortisol and adrenocorticotropic hormone. It also releases endorphins. Now, some of these show up in the tears, but most head to the brain to help us feel better. There's also the presence of prolactin in our tears, which is associated with emotional regulation. It is these biological actions that can leave us feeling both drained and relieved after crying. Behind the scenes, what happens is this. An emotional trigger activates the limbic system, which is in charge of our emotions. Here, the amygdala processes emotions and triggers the crying response, and the hypothalamus sends the signal to the brainstem, which activates the parasympathetic nervous system, which stimulates the facial nerve, also known as cranial nerve 7. This nerve connects directly to the lacrimal gland, which secretes the tears. These emotional tears differ in composition from our basal tears, which are our everyday moisturizing tears, and reflex tears, which are in response to irritants. And that's because they have a different underlying trigger and pathway of action. 